Lizzie, when I proposed to you, I said I wanted to make you the happiest girl in the world. And that's because you've made me the happiest man in the world. <laughs> now today, I'm lucky enough to be standing here, sharing the happiest day of my life. I promise I'll continue to laugh at my own jokes, and I'll always remind you which is left and right. But most of all, I promise to love you and cherish you for the rest of my life. So the love story starts the way most love stories started five to six years ago, and that's thanks to a little old thing called Tinder. They both swiped right on each other back in June 2014, chatted for a couple of weeks before James finally asked Lizzie out on a date. Being in a loving relationship myself, I would often play Greg's Tinder for him. Now, I firmly believe it was me that matched him with Chow. Greg, though, will tell you it was him. You already now know. Uh, Lizzie and I met on the dating app Tinder in 2014. Uh, but for someone that doesn't know her left and right, I often wonder if she actually knew which way she'd swiped. <laughs> for our first date, again, you've heard this story now, but I decided to surprise Lizzie and take her to a bar called Sweatshop. Yes, James, you idiot. What a brain fade. It was a minor miracle that this beautiful, sweet girl had said yes. Well, the day is finally here. Just after Christmas, Lisa came up to Sydney for a second last fitting. I dropped them off as usual and decided to sit at the bus stop and wait for them. I looked up when I saw my beautiful daughter, beautiful little girl, st standing. <laughs> the front of, of the shop window in a wedding dress. James, you have been my best friend, mentor, playmate, confidant and my greatest challenge. But most importantly, you are the love of my life and you make me happier than I could ever imagine. I promise to learn how to drive and to make a decision on where we should eat. But most of all, I promise to love you to treasure you and to be by your side always and forever. When it comes to couples, you get two friends from having one. And this is so true for Lizzie and James. They as a couple make the most wonderful of friends. Greg's, you've absolutely met your match, mate. Lizzie, the traits that Greg's has are absolutely synonymous with you. So in the late 60s, uh, my grandfather, old Reggie, uh, used to take me camping. I'd lay on my back in my sleeping bag. He taught me to look at the stars and he said to me, when you look at the stars, wish something for someone else. If you're a good person, someone will be wishing for you. I want 120 people in this room tonight to look at the stars and wish something very special for these great two. Thank you.